What is going on Facebook? My name is Sarah and I am an exercise physiologist and nutritionist, but I specialize in helping people find their healthy balance between exercise, nutrition, and time with their family. So for everyone watching on replay, you know I like to see that hashtag replay or hashtag after party or hashtag whatever you like to hashtag. And for everyone that is going to be watching live, you know, I'm very grateful for your time. Everyone is very busy. I understand that. So it says low network connection. I'm going to wait a minute. See if I'm connected because I can't see any viewers. So I'll give it a second. I'm in my new garage gym. So I don't know if that has something to do with the, the glitchiness because for my small group, I actually tried to do alive earlier today and it did the same thing. So, let me just give it a moment. All right, it says I'm back at it. It says I'm back at it. I'm gonna give it a second. Well, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it. And then if people start hopping on, go ahead and drop some comments because you know I like to see the comments. I like to go back and forth. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know how your week is going. If you had any phenomenal plans this weekend, Eric's in the house, John's in the house. Thank you guys for hopping on. And I shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? How many times have you guys been in a situation and after the fact, you're like, oh gosh, if only I would have done this. I should have done this. If I would have done this, then this could have probably maybe happened or this wouldn't have happened and everything would have been completely different. And there have been so many situations in my life I know that this has happened and I'm sure for everyone. Throughout life, we go through situations that are good and bad. We make good decisions, we make bad decisions. We make decisions without even thinking sometimes. So, I needed to come on here and make a post because things that I go through in my life, I have tried to learn from and to try to get better at. So what I have learned that helps me, I'm trying to relay the information back to you guys and hopefully even if it impacts one person and helps one person, then I feel like I've achieved success right there. But if we are so stuck in thinking about a situation in the past, whether it was an hour ago or it was five years ago, and we are rehashing every single thing that happened and we are thinking to ourselves, okay, gosh darn it, if I wouldn't have stepped foot there, if I wouldn't have said this, if I wouldn't have looked at this person, if I wouldn't have you know, crossed paths with this person, then X, Y, and Z could have happened or X, Y, and Z would not have happened. You know what I'm saying. I mean, ultimately, we can go on and on and on in our heads and make ourselves crazy because we are thinking about the woulda, coulda, shouldas. And in all reality, I know it is cliche to say, but everything happens for a reason. You learn from every situation, or at least you should. So if you didn't make the best of choices, then what do you do from here on out? You make a better choice. You do things differently next time. You don't do the same thing and you learn, you move on. So we need to stop going back to situations that have happened in the past and replaying the situation over and over and over because it will make you go crazy. It will make you go crazy. It's not accomplishing anything. You're just wasting your time and ultimately it can suck us down into that dark place. Whether you are clinically depressed or you're not, it, everyone gets depressed from time to time. So when we are thinking about the woulda, coulda, shouldas all the time and we are always doing that after every situation, it's gonna make you go crazy, it is. And I know I'm all about like the educational Facebook Lives, which I think is very important, but ultimately I cannot tell you how many times I receive messages from people that are dealing with some type of depression or anxiety issue or something mentally that is happening. And I really strongly believe that people that are severely struggling with their weight, their health, it all 
starts up here. It really does. There are, there are diseases, there are disorders, there are things that hinder our ability to lose weight. Yes, I understand that. But a lot of times we need to change something up here. We need to learn how to deal with situations on the daily, how to cope better, how to maintain, and you know, not have those extreme highs and lows. And when we do get our mind right, then the rest follows. But unless we really can learn how to manage our stress, how to manage the, the dark times, the poor decisions that we've made that have led us to, you know, bad places or, you know, I mean, we have valleys, peaks and valleys in life. And so you may be on a down spiral right now because of some poor decisions that you've made. So again, don't replay that situation and think, oh my gosh, I wouldn't be in this place if I would have done this. I should have done that. I could have done that and I wouldn't be here because you're there. You're, you're here right now, so we need to focus on the future, the present and the future, and how can we turn this around? The past is the past, it's done. It doesn't matter what you think in your head and how you can replay that situation, it's never going to replay because you can't redo it, you just can't. So we need to focus on the future, we need to forget about it, stop dwelling, and keep on trucking along. So if you guys agree with me, drop a one in the comments because I know that like I've been through some things in life and they, life doesn't always go as planned. And you know, one minute, I can't tell you one minute, I am like on cloud nine, everything is rocking and rolling and then boom, something happens, it throws me off kilter. So the best thing I can say to you is that you just need to know how to stay as balanced, as focused, and streamlined as you can. And the only way to do that is to get your mind right and to learn how to cope through the highs and the lows. Because if you let that depression and that dark time take you down and you start feeling so down on yourself, and you start replaying that situation over and over and over again, then it's just gonna take you down, 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 and you're never gonna get out of that. I mean, you will, but it's gonna take a long time. So again, you guys, thank you for hopping on. I know this is kinda like not one that you can throw your two cents in a lot, but again, it's, it's all up here, it's all up here. So that's all I have to say about that. But as you can see, my background, I, this is my first live in my new garage gym here. So I'm starting my group training here probably next week. If you all have any desire to do small mini boot camps, group classes, I'm going to be doing probably four people in the groups max. I'm going to do mini boot camps that I think I am going to allow six max. And then I think the minimum, we're gonna do three people. So minimum three, max six. And I have two TRX bands. I have, I'm just gonna kind of like swing, swing it around here. So I have two TRX bands hanging there, ready to go. I have some battle ropes here, my dumbbells here, I have kettlebells, I have my rogue machine, bench, I have some a punching bag. And I've got BOSU balls up there. I got a whole bunch of good stuff here for you guys. So, for ladies and gentlemen, I train both. And my time is very limited. That is why I am trying to clump people together. And a lot of my clients know one another because they come to my boot camps. So it works out well. Beth's in the house, Ryan's in the house. Thank you for, thank you for hopping on. Uh, so, I'm really trying to get as many people in because lately, you know, it's just when it rains, it pours. Either everyone's ready for training or people are, you know, all taking some time off. So right now is an on time. People are like full throttle, ready to go, which I'm excited about, but I'm trying to have everyone do like the teamwork thing because honestly, I feel like when people train in groups, they, they work out harder. I think it's slightly a competition factor. Uh, if you guys are competitors and you're, you know, very, very um, strong at that competition factor, go ahead and drop a two in the comments. Michael, oh, thank you. Yes, I know my dad rocked it out for sure. 
this lighting's weird. I'm trying to read and I, I feel like I'm blind. Um, yeah, my dad, my dad did all of this. And you know, I have had plenty of people reach out to me wanting to know if he can do the same or similar things for him. For I think there's been a few women and gentlemen, but my dad is like booked up right now. But if you guys are interested, let me know. And then when he's not booked up, maybe he can do something similar. But yeah, he rocked it out. And I don't know if you can see my flooring. It's legit. It's that epoxy stuff. So that's it. That's it. And I got my stand here, my tripod action. Okay, yeah, so leave it in the comments if you are interested. We are gonna do a few evenings, I think Tuesday nights, possibly Wednesday nights, maybe a morning class. I'm trying to get the feedback at everyone's schedule before I come up with a complete schedule. Then it's gonna be like signups on Sign Up Genius. So the first six people, um, on Saturdays and then the rest are gonna be four people max once you sign up those people are in and then the other people have to just kind of wait and sign up for the next class so let me know and if you guys have any insight or input into the woulda coulda shoulda drop it in the comments drop some favorite emojis in the comments you know I like to see plenty of comments in these videos you guys and let me know I'm not alone. Let me know I am not the only poor decision maker here. I make some bad decisions. Not, I mean, I wouldn't say they're bad, but you know, they're not all well thought out decisions. If anyone is on the same page as me and you're like, man, what was I thinking? Drop a three, give me a three. I need to see some threes because I feel alone in this whole thing, right? All right, everyone, that's all I have for tonight. It wasn't really that short. It was supposed to be like a two minute live, but you know that I can't stop talking. So have a great night and I'll talk to you very soon. Beth, you're super excited. Beth, yes, I'm gonna have, um, I know girl, you're, you're in that Saturday class and um, I'm hoping to get for sure, well, I know for sure I'm gonna do a Tuesday night class because I have the desire. I have the people that I know are committed. Liz is giving me some threes. Lisa's in the house. Look, I keep going, going, going. I was about to hit the finish and then I start reading. All right, I love you guys. Have a great week.